Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with DC Unplugged, and today we're unboxing. Wait a minute. <laughs> the Dragon Raptor. So, let's get into it. Looking good. It's looking very nice in there, guys. I'll probably get it. Tell you what, the packages are really nice. Oh, here we go. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, so I'll get to these up in a minute. So, first things first, at the top, we have our manual. And off the top, we have our. Oh, this is cool. They've given us a little multi hex. First, we put ourselves a little multi hex inside, so it's giving us a little um, thing to put together. It's pretty cool, pretty nifty. Inside that, we have a part of the charger, so we've got the charging part of the charger brick, or the cable power here, we should say. And oh, cool. So it looks like they've given us a couple of end caps for the bolts for the, where the wheels are. That'll come nifty, we'll tidy it up a bit. Before we go any further guys, um, big shout out and thank you to uh, this channel's sponsor. So Bike Scooter City, thank you very much for allowing us to actually do an unboxing. These guys are absolutely champions and if you he's, if he's guys need it or want any more details about these scooters, don't be scared to give uh, Bikes to City a little call. And um, yeah, well, let's carry on. So the keys are actually zip tied to the uh, handlebars, which is good. So you've got it to the keys. I want to try to be gentle as I really don't want to put this foam everywhere. <laughs> as much as I want to tear into it, it'd be really fun. Alright, before I do anything guys, I've got to get you in on the end. So guys, this is what they've laid it out. So we've got a cells so you can see there, look at that. Black and yellow accents, looking like Bumblebee. Everyone loves Bumblebee in the, in the movies. So this is the handlebars here. Giving us the keys. Yeah, this is looking really good. So, I'm going to that out. Put it in there. Put the other brick out. Oh, here we go. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit blind. And that there, it's pretty it because it's exactly the same colour as the box, but that is our charging brick, I believe. Yep. So there's the charging brick at the top. So those two can go together. Sweet. Move that out of the way. I might actually ask our lovely, my lovely girlfriend to actually help me Pull this out of the scooter so we'll get her in here. There it is, guys, it's out. It's looking really good. Right, pull this up. Yeah, it's down to the tunnel, so this is like coming up. They've really done a good job at uh, keeping everything really nice and tidy together. Give on us. I'm going to use our that toolkit provided with this guys and put the scooter together. Cool. Get a nice close up look of it. So, 
So guys, we just finished up tightening up the headset bolt. So the four bolts here. And tell you what, I haven't got around to moving up all this stuff yet. But um, obviously the brakes need to be adjusted still. The key, the bell, we've got our uh, trigger, and obviously our brakes on the side too, as well as the um, the eco boost and single and dual motor switch. Oh, it's actually got a little clamp here for folding it down into the deck down there. That's cool. So guys, I'm gonna put you into a time lapse. I'm gonna quickly put all this up, tighten it all down and stuff like that, and. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit. So guys, we just finished up doing the rest of the, well, I would say that this is how I like to ride anyway, so I prefer mine to be flat, other people are different, um, but yeah, we've got the bell, got that hooked up, now we've got, ooh, does that have that special tape that everyone loves peeling off but doesn't, oh, 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 here we go guys, yes. So, we've got everything sorted out, we've got the um, clamp locked down, all the buttons are all locked down, um, that's pretty much it, I've got the clamp, you would have seen me fast forward that, I've already done the clamp, um, so it's pretty much just a simple unit, kind of like a bike clamp, you come down and you just basically pull those two forward, you tighten these up just so they're tight enough and it sits down on the bottom of the collar, um, nice and proper. But man, this is a good looking scooter. So guys, I've just whipped it around for you on the other side real quick. And I've already noticed, I didn't notice before, we have also two dual charging ports, so this thing can be fast charged. Um, but looks like we have one 40 mil disc brakes so far. Um, we'll show you that locking mechanism real quick actually. Um, so you just undo it. One clip, two clip, put that all the way up. Then we've got that little tab, bolts down, and we can click it into place. And we have ourselves a locked in scooter. Now, guys, that's just not too heavy, which is pretty good. It's very light, actually, which is nice. You can definitely lift it in and out of the car quite easily. So again, that stem clamp, you just wiggle it all the way down until it slides into place. Like so. Again, tighten it down. Down, down. Don't want to tighten it too much though. Oh, usual. Alright, let's take it outside for a bit, of a, a bit of a geese. Actually, before we do that, let's get our first pa official power on. These keys look pretty cool too. Look at that. It's even got like a little design in it. That's cool. Mad. All right, let's have a look. Right. So, put our keys. Put the ignition. And we've got our bolts display there. It's looking very pretty. You can see that quite easily. 54 volts. And we've got our power. Old power button. Look at that. Beautiful. 
and even slightly charging for us. Now, if it's anything like I think it is, I think you hold the mode button, you can turn the lights on. Hey, here we go. Look at that. What a good looking scoot. <laughs> that looks mad. That's super cool. Put the brakes on. Yeah, nice. Very nice. All right, let's get it outside, guys. So, here we go, guys. Got a little helmet on there as well. Yeah, this is a good looking scoot. I really, really like the yellow and black. It's cool, man. Got a mud guard on the back there too, guys. Yeah, very nice. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of a brunt, see how it goes, and I'll give you guys a review in a couple of days or a week or so. So definitely keep your eyes peeled out for that review, guys. It's, uh, I think this is gonna be a neat little scoot. See you in the next one, guys. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. And yeah, get ready for some more content for the, of that thing.